Welcome everyone. This is the All About Collecting Rent webinar. So today we're talking about all things collecting rent. So from the reasons why collecting rent online makes things simpler and how Cozy can help with that uh, to make your lives as landlords and property managers a lot easier. We wanna help take that unneeded stress out of managing your rentals to give you more time to do, well, <laughs> everything else. By the end of this webinar, you'll know more about collecting rent online and should feel totally confident using Cozy to make that process way easier. So uh, here's the game plan. Uh, we're gonna do an intro and short overview of Cozy. Then we're gonna go into the benefits of collecting rent online and how payments work in Cozy. After that, we'll have a short question break. Next, we'll walk through how to set up rent collection in Cozy. So I'll give you a live demo of that uh, and what that looks like. And then we'll finish up with some more live Q&A at the end. Just as a note, we're also gonna be recording this. So you'll receive a link to view the recording shortly after the webinar concludes. But let's start with uh, an introduction here. So you know whose voice you're hearing over the interwebs here. I'm Jordan and I'm the customer success manager here at Cozy, I'm the onboarding leader. So I'm really education focused. So you may have heard the term success manager a lot of places and it's focused on sales and acquisition and all that other jargony stuff. My focus is really making sure that folks who want to learn about Cozy have the information and the resources they need to feel confident understanding Cozy, how to use it, uh, and helping them frame their needs, uh, maybe potential problems they've had with other software to see if Cozy is going to be the right fit. So I like to do that through education, whether it's live demos or helping out in the help center and things like that. I'm based in Portland, Oregon, where Cozy is headquartered, so it makes getting to work pretty convenient. But uh, a big thing is I've pretty much been a renter for most of my adult life. So questions and concerns on the landlord side of things as far as advertising your rental or finding great renters, collecting rent, or even on the renter side of things, finding a place to live or communicating with your landlord. These are all things I've been a part of and are very personal to me. So I'm really, really happy to be here with you today. So one of the big components here is asking questions. So I definitely encourage you to ask all your questions here throughout the session, and I'm gonna be monitoring these as well. So in your GoToWebinar control panel, there's a little question box in the middle, and you can go ahead and, and put those questions in there and then I'll see them. And I'm gonna stop for a question break after the overview so we can kind of address some of those. But I do wanna make sure we get through things. So we're gonna have a dedicated Q&A section for about the last 10, 15 minutes to address remaining questions. So uh, let's get into these overviews. Today I'm gonna talk about collecting rent online and then show you the ins and outs of how that works in Cozy so we can go over the best ways to use our online rent collection tool. So whether you're frustrated with your current property management tool and know there's a better solution out there, maybe you've been doing everything manually yourself or even are completely new to managing rentals, you're definitely in the right place. So before we move into more about collecting rent online, I wanted to touch briefly on Cozy's full suite. So Cozy offers listings and website creation for those listings, online applications, renter screening, rent collection, as well as maintenance requests and expense tracking. And best of all, this is at no cost for you to use as landlords and property managers. We're available anywhere you have internet, and, you know, in fact, we see about a third of renters using Cozy on their phone. And we don't have an app right now, but our site is fully mobile compatible and it's gonna look great on a phone or tablet. And you'll have all the same features and functionality too. So, uh, you know, whether it's maintenance requests or whatever, it doesn't matter, you're, you're on your iPhone or your laptop, it's still the same. So to drill down a little bit more, Cozy really focuses on five big aspects. The first is helping you market your rentals and listings. So what that means is you can create a beautiful website with Cozy and advertise for free to fill your vacancies fast through our partners. So your listings are always gonna look super professional and polished, which is huge when you're trying to gather new leads. We also offer applications and screening. So you can use our free online application for potential renters to apply. We also offer screening reports that your applicants can order as part of the application process, or you can request them separately later. What I love is that Cozy's online applications just really simplify the process and best of all, helps you save time. Perhaps our core feature here and kind of what we're talking about today is rent collection. So once you find a renter or even if you have an existing one, you can use Cozy's free automated rent collection. Just takes a few minutes on the landlord and tenants ends. And again, completely free for you to use landlords. Your tenants can also pay for free using their checking account 
or with a card for a small transaction fee. We also offer maintenance requests. So this is huge for being able to keep your communication all in one place, streamline the process. So those leaky faucets or creaky doors or whatever get fixed fast and there's a solid kind of timeline and record of that. Last but certainly not least is expense tracking. So this is a great tool for tax prep time, which I realize is almost upon us. So I know what I'm doing this weekend. Or, you know, this is also great for just being able to track your expenses month over month or if you want to keep some offline uh, records as well. But again, perhaps the most important part is this is all 100 percent free for you as landlords and property managers. And, you know, I know what you're thinking, like, hey, because you offer your services for free, you know, how, how do you all make money and what's the catch? Uh, so we, we definitely get questions about how we make money and I can definitely talk about that. So cozy revenue streams come from a few different areas. So a portion of screening reports purchases, part of the transaction fee for any renter payments with cards, express payout subscriptions and rent estimate reports for landlords, and then a portion of renter's insurance policies that are purchased through our partner assurance. And that's why we're able to offer these core tools for free. So again, we're going to pause for a question break before the demo portion of the webinar, uh, but also end with live Q&A. So again, if you do have questions about what we're talking about in real time, though, please send those in. So next, we're going to go into the benefits of collecting rent online. So let's talk about that. You know, what's the whole point? Like, why should you even bother? You know, you have your process for better or worse. Why move things online anyway? So first and foremost, to help you save time and money. And what that means is no waiting for that check to arrive or having to go out of your way to send an invoice when you can collect rent online and for free. I actually spoke with a landlord today who has one renter who pays cash and he has to drive down and meet them every time they make a rent payment. So you won't have to worry about that. And basically the overall kind of takeaway is less stress, more time, easier payments. So sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> Next is less paper for everyone. So never worry about losing that sensitive paperwork or, or having to store it in shoe boxes, which I'm not shaming any, anyone, we've all been there, uh, but you don't have to worry about also buying those extra secure storage cabinets, which is awesome. Everything's stored online. For your renters, this is huge because they're not gonna have to worry about digging up a paper check once a month and can pay their rent online just like all of their other bills. What kind of goes hand in hand with that is the next little section here. So it's more secure. I think that there is often a misconception that checks are super secure and, you know, they have their full account numbers and routing numbers at the bottom. And when someone hands them over to you, you're responsible for them. I mean, so much weight carried by that little piece of paper. Collecting run online means that payments are deposited directly into your account. So you don't have to share any account information with your renters and they don't need to share that with you either. So easier, safer, and it just streamlines the whole process without having to having to worry about the stress of, of the security of your payments. Next, another huge benefit to collecting rent online is staying informed. So one of the biggest questions I receive from new landlords and property managers using Cozy is, how to check in on payments. You know, it's one thing that it's free and, and all that kind of stuff, but you wanna stay on top of things too. So in Cozy, with just a few clicks, you can easily see who's made a payment, who still needs to pay, or just check in on your ongoing rent payment history from wherever you are. So I guess what I'm saying is feel free to go on more vacations because you can check in on rent payments even from the beach, assuming you have a cell signal. So you can say Jordan said it was okay. Last but not least here is better organization. I mean, that's really kind of the crux of everything is bringing your rental business online, collecting rent, or even if you're listing your properties, it just makes it so much easier to manage. So with Cozy, you know, you can easily view breakdowns of rent and payments by property and by unit, easily export your payment data into one straightforward spreadsheet, which makes tax prep way easier. Um, it's just nice to be organized and not have to color code your shoe boxes, I guess. And, you know, you're probably saying, well, Jordan, you know, that's all well and good, but you invited us to a cozy webinar. Like, how does this all work in cozy? Well, I'm glad you asked. So um, payments in cozy, there are, there are a lot of common questions I kind of get here. So I tried to organize this into the questions I usually get and some answers there. And of course, we'll go more in depth here. But first and foremost, what's the cost? So as I mentioned before, payments are free for landlords and, and, and property managers. There's no tiers or limits on the number of properties you can add. So 
feel free to collect rent online with codes to your heart's content. Uh, but what does that mean for renters, though? You know, like you're saying it's free for me, but what about my renters? How can they pay? So renters can pay with their checking account or with a credit or debit card. Checking account payments are completely free for renters. Card payments have a 2.75% fee paid for by the renter. Uh, but again, all of this is free for you as landlords. Now for renters too, they have some payment options as far as the intervals they pay in. So our, our preferred way for, for most folks to pay is through auto pay. So to basically a set it and forget it makes things way easier. But we know that some folks aren't comfortable with that. So your renters can also set up one-time payments. So meaning they can schedule a payment manually whenever they wanna pay. If you have folks who are not paying monthly, so maybe they pay bi-weekly or weekly or something like that, you can totally set those up as well. Renters are in complete control of their payments. So all you need to do as a landlord or property manager is you know, uh, communicate to your renters that they can pay on whatever interval works for them. Then it's just on them to schedule those payments. This is also great for roommates as well. So if you're renting and you have a roommate situation, all the roommates can set up their uh, payments for their portion of the rent. You can check in to make sure it equals a total amount. And it just makes it easy for them to coordinate and for you to check in on things as well. So next, uh, you've talked about all these payment options, but you know how, how long do, do payments take? So Cozy's core payment processing time is five business days if your renter is paying by checking account. And the reason for that is there's actually two ACH or bank to bank transactions. So first, we verify that the funds are, are available in the renter's account. Then once the funds are available, Cozy immediately begins a deposit to you. If you do need funds faster, you can opt into Cozy's Express Payouts. So this is an optional service, costs $2.99 per unit per month, and that will speed up the payment timeline for those checking account payments to three business days. If your renter is paying by credit card, it takes three business days as well. So next, uh, can I check in on payments? So how does that work? You know, one of the biggest benefits of collecting rent online is being able to easily check in on things. And like I said, from the beach or wherever you're on vacation, you don't have to lose sight of what's going on just because you're collecting rent online. So you can track and check your payment status at any time in Cozy, but we'll also send you email notifications as well. So we'll send you two emails each month during rent collection. We'll first email you when your renter's payment is sending. We'll then email you again when your renter's payment is depositing to your account. When a renter is getting things set up, we'll email you about five days before the renter's first rent payment is due in Cozy with an update on their setup status so you can follow up if needed. So, you know, at, at Cozy, we want to make sure that we're just not inundating your, your inbox. So we only send the things that are very important like that. So what's going on with the payment? Is my renter set up? We'll also email renters every month, five days before their rent is due as a reminder. So that means you don't have to go in and prod them to be like, hey, your rent's due in five days. We'll take care of that for you so they'll know that that's coming up. Uh, and to the right, just so you know, these, these screenshots here, uh, that one in the top right where it says Kimberly Mann, this is an, an example of how you could check in on your renter setup status. So have they scheduled payments? Have they added their insurance policy? That kind of stuff. And then that larger screenshot is just a, a sample shot of the ledger in Cozy. So we're definitely going to go into that uh, more in depth here. But that's essentially what it looks like. You have line items for bills, payments that are scheduled, running balance, tenant info, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we'll get to that in a second, but a couple other things to touch on here. Uh, you know, one question I hear is like, aside from rent, how can I bill my tenants or renters for other things besides rent? So. You definitely can in Cozy. We have a feature called Add a Bill. So it's a, if you look in the screenshot here, it says turquoise button. And that means that you can add bills for anything besides rent. So utilities, maybe one of your renters accidentally broke a window or maybe not so accidentally. Basically, if there's anything you need to invoice your renters for that is not their rent, this is a great way to do it. We also offer automatic late fees as well. So we'll walk through that when we're going through the demo. But you can add automatic late fees. You can also add them manually as well um, if that's a better option for you. Then you can also add offline payments. So this little button here in the middle, you know, you, you do have some renters who are, are not gonna be into the online rent payment. It, you know, it's just kind of like the facts there. It's way easier for them, but sometimes again, they have their process. So. If you have folks who prefer to pay with money orders or cash or, or something like that, 
you can still account for those in Cozy with an offline payment, and that way it doesn't throw off your whole ledger. So not to fear, not everyone has to pay online. If you do have some of those folks who are paying offline, you can still account for those. And now I know you're probably asking, like you, you've heard about the cost and the payments and how long they take and how to bill renters. But you're like, this sounds great. You know, how easy it is to how easy is it to get set up? Uh, you know, to be honest, it really just takes a few minutes on the landlord and tenants ends. It's very intuitive to walk through. Uh, and I'm going to show you that next. What I also did is uh, once the webinar concludes in the follow-up email you'll get, I added some links to a couple of videos. So one is showing the landlord portion of things. So what are the steps that you walk through to set up rent collection? And then the other one is the steps that the tenants go through. So that video will show you uh, what tenants see from the moment they receive that email invite from you through actually scheduling their payments. One other thing here before we move on is I know that you know we're all kind of getting used to this online payment the online payment thing and how to come online and collect rent online. But one of the biggest things too is making sure your, your renters are on board. You know, landlords and property managers can be fully good to go, but if you don't have renters who are gonna pay online, then it's kind of, what's the point? And we see that the biggest hurdle there is sometimes renters just kind of want to understand the process a little bit more. So uh, we did develop a pamphlet on how to introduce renters to Cozy. And if you look in the handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel, uh, I added that there. So you can download it as a PDF. You can include that in an email or stick that in the welcome packet for new renters, but definitely use that as a resource. So it's in the handout section. It should say a tenant handout PDF, and you can download that or check it out if you'd like. Cool. All right. So now we're going to get into a live demo in Cozy, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up rent collection, what that looks like, uh, what the process is, kind of the screens you'll see. So what this is, is an actual real life Cozy account, but all the private info has been anonymized for security reasons. So you might see some weird addresses or things like that. Uh, totally fine, it's just, just for security. But what you're seeing here is a dashboard when you first log in. You get really a, a snapshot of your properties. So what's going on? Am I collecting rent? Do I have an active listing? It's just a nice way to, to really touch base and see exactly what's going on in your properties. And sometimes I know landlords come here, check things out, and they're like, all right, uh, I have to go back to Jimmy Prairie later just to kind of see uh, what payments are processing or whatever. So just a quick snapshot to see what's going on. Toward the left over here is where you have a panel for each section so you can dig deeper. So first, uh, you know, to, to get started uh, with, with Cozy, we, we wanna add a property. And that's really your first step to most anything in Cozy, especially rent collection, is to add your property. So we're gonna do that first. So let's go up here to new property. We support both single unit and multi-unit homes. So if your property has multiple units or maybe you're renting your home and you're renting by the room, you choose multiple units. So let's say I'm gonna add my duplex to Cozy. How about that? Um, yeah, let's do this one. And for your unit names, you know, it's pretty free form, like whatever you prefer. I know some landlords will use their, their renters' names. If you're renting your home, maybe you'll use like master bedroom or basement. In this case, I'm just going to do A and B. It's pretty customary there. And that was it. That's how quick it is to add a property. It's like less than 10 seconds. So even if you have a lot of properties, it's pretty quick. Uh, you can add your properties pretty quickly and start getting it start getting up and running with Cozy. Uh, but what happens next is you kind of come to this fork in the road. So after you add a property, we'll say, hey, you know, do you want to create a listing and find new renters? Or do you want to set up a rent collection term if you'd like to start collecting rent? So in this case, we're going to start with rent collections. And that's why we're all here today. Uh, so let's do start collecting rent. Excellent. So uh, before we get started with this, uh, just a couple notes. So rent collection and Cozy allows you just to be done once and for all with those paper checks. Uh, easily manage tenant payments with a few clicks. So we talked about being able to check in. And like I said, check in on payments whenever you need to, which is awesome. A Cozy rent collection term is the rent collection tool itself. So this represents the payment agreement you have with your renters. But this isn't a legal lease or rental agreement, so you'll need to take care of that outside of Cozy, just as a note. But overall, this process is super quick. With me speaking, it'll just take a couple of minutes, but I'm sure you can go even faster without me kind of narrating the process here. So uh, let's pick, there's our property. Let's pick our unit, let's do unit B. 
So uh, the first thing is, uh, if you have an existing renter, you can still get started with rent collection in Cozy. So keep in mind, this doesn't have to be someone who's brand new. If you do want to pull an existing renter to start paying through Cozy, you'll just enter the start date in the past or whenever it started. And then later on, Cozy will ask you when you want to collect your first payment through Cozy. So you can either have a month to month or a fixed term lease. You can always modify this as well too. So if you needed to like extend a rent collection term or something, no problem, you can take care of that. So let's say um, my mind's focused on spring here. So I'm gonna say, let's start this way in the future. I'll start it on May or June 1st, that's fine. Um, and then June 1st, 2020, cool. So. Next step is we're just gonna add the tenants at the unit or anyone who's gonna pay rent here. So all you'll need is their name and email address. And then what happens is Cozy will actually send them an email that guides them on how to set up their payments to you. So um, if you have multiple renters, you'll add them all here and you'll enter the total amount of rent on the for the unit on the next step. And then each renter can just come in and claim their portion of the rent. So it's really easy for roommate payments continue here. So next we're just going to tell Cozy what the monthly rent is and the day of the month it's due. Defaults to the first, but you can choose any day. Uh, I guess I should put a rent amount in here. <laughs> you can also choose when you want to collect your first payment in Cozy. So if you pick the first of the month, it'll show you all the firsts through the end of the rent collection term. You can collect prorated rent if you'd like. Stick that, that amount in there. You can also do automatic late fees. So the way late fees work right now is it's kind of a fixed amount after a fixed period of time. So in this version of late fees, we don't have the ability to add daily late fees or escalating ones, which I think has been probably the single biggest piece of feedback from, from uh, our customers who, who are using this. Uh, and so uh, I think the hope is to be able to add that in version two. Uh, for now though, it'll just be the fixed late fee amount after a certain amount of days. So the way this works is renters get an email on the day their rent is due as a warning if the total amount of scheduled payments doesn't match the amount that's due. Then after that, we'll send out an email confirmation to both you and your renters if a late fee has been applied. So I guess what I'm saying is it's not like a secret ninja fly-by-night late fee. Everyone's gonna be informed and know exactly what, what's going on. So if you wanna add automatic late fees, you definitely can. Moving right along here, uh, next is the security deposit. So you'll just be asked if you wanna collect one through Cozy, and you can actually send the security deposit to a different checking account than the one you set up for rent payments, which I know is a legal requirement in some states, so we wanted to make that easier. What's also cool with security deposits and other move-in costs is you can have them due in advance of the rent collection start date. So uh, I do know that usually getting the security deposit in advance or maybe first and last month's rent is like a sign of good faith or securing the rental. So you can do that here too. Uh, so I know we set up the rent collection term to start in June, but hey, we want that security deposit early. Let's say we want it February 1st. Then you can also add other move-in costs here. So um, let's say the pet deposit here, uh, I want that due on the first as well. This is also a great spot to add any other miscellaneous fees. You can add first and last month's rent, which is a, a great a great spot to stick that. And just so you know, you can add bills during the during these steps, but you can add them later on at any point too. So this isn't the only place you can add bills, but this is just kind of you know what your renter will see when when they get started with things. Let's continue here. So next is a receiving account. So we're gonna ask you to add the checking account where you want us to deposit the payments you receive. If you've added one to Cozy already, you'll just be able to select it from a dropdown. If it's your first time though, you'll be prompted to add an account where you can add your checking account. And you can do that using your bank's login or manually entering the routing uh, and account numbers. So Cozy integrates with a lot of major banks and you'll see a login portal from your bank. So say you're with Wells Fargo, you would just enter your online bank info. Once you continue, you'll see a list of accounts you can select from. So, um, you know, not to worry though, if maybe you're not comfortable using your online bank login, that's totally fine. Or maybe like when you type your bank in here, you don't see it because you're using a regional credit union or smaller institution. Again, totally fine. You can just manually add your account with your routing and account number. So um, just know one way or another, you'll be able to add that checking account. For now though, I'm just gonna select one that we added previously here. 
Here's also where you can select a different account for your security deposit or add a different one if you'd like to. Uh, next is document sharing. So you can upload and store documents that are part of your rent collection in Cozy and share them with your renters. So one thing to note though, is definitely make sure that these documents can be renter facing. So anything you upload here, your renter is gonna be able to see. So only renter facing documents. But you know, since we don't have the ability to, to create and sign leases in Cozy yet, this is a great place to upload a copy of your signed legal lease, maybe move in and move out checklists, community rules. Uh, it's just a nice way to include some stuff that might already be in your welcome package so it's stored online for them as well. But you can also add documents later on if, if you'd like on the rental details page. So again, just like bills, um, this isn't the one-stop area for like adding all bills and then once you pass it, you're done. Like, no, you can add different documents at any time. So no worries there. Also, if you're collecting rent through Cozy, your renters have the option of purchasing a renter's insurance policy directly through their Cozy account from our partner Assurance. You'll be able to specify whether insurance is required as part of setting up a new rent collection term on one of your properties. Your renters will be able to purchase a policy when they set up their account or add the details of an existing policy they've already purchased. So what that means is if they don't have a policy, maybe they've never rented before, this is a great way for them to be able to add a policy at the same time while they're getting set up with Cozy. If they already have a policy though, so maybe they're with Allstate or whatever, that's totally fine too. They'll be able to add that policy information as well. So you'll be able to see their proof of coverage. You can uncheck it too, but we'll, we'll say like, hey, most lease agreements require insurance, which is true. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep that box checked for now. So next step is confirm an invite. Uh, so we're just gonna review our details and make sure everything looks good. We can always change these later. So if, if we put in like 2000 for the rental payment, and it was actually like 2050, like we could modify that. But the biggest thing, make sure that everything, the initial stuff looks good. The one thing I always say to double check is this email address. So make sure there's not a typo in there because you wanna make sure that your renter actually gets the invite to Cozy so they can set up their payments. So everything looks good. Let's, let's do it here, confirm an invite. Nice, we did it everyone. Uh, so what happens now, like I said, is when you confirm an invite, Cozy will send an email invitation to your renter and guide them through setting up payments to you. Uh, Cozy is super renter friendly and most renters can set up payments without instructions. Uh, we have a great video from our help center that shows exactly what the renter will do, as well as the one that shows the process that I just went through as well. So I'm gonna include those links in the post web in our follow-up email, so you'll have those for reference and definitely, definitely check those out. They're just nice resources uh, to have. Again, uh, I also mentioned too, in the handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel, I uploaded a, a tenant handout document. And this is great for introducing your tenants to Cozy and addressing questions like, is it secure? What does the process look like? How do I pay? It's just a nice way to introduce folks to Cozy. So definitely check that out as well. So we just spent this time creating the rent collection setup and let's look at it. Let's look at our creation here together. <laughs> So once this loads, um, what we're gonna see here is the representation of the transactions between uh, us and, and our renter. So it provides instant access to your renter's setup status and their scheduled payments so you can stay informed. See the current running balance of what's been paid and what's owed. And if we look down here, here's all the bills we just created. Bills let your renters know what's due and when, but they don't initiate charges since those need to be scheduled and authorized by your renters. As soon as your renter schedules a payment though, you'll see that as a payment line in green and payments are the actual transactions, meaning that money will go to your bank account. So there aren't any payments here yet because we just invited our renter, me, <laughs> and I haven't set up payments yet, but I'll show you another real rent collection setup with payments on it in a bit. Before we move on though, some other helpful, helpful things here. So this tenants tab at the top, this is where you can see your renter's registration status. So you may remember from that screenshot that we were looking at earlier, we just invited this renter so you can see they aren't ready to pay because they haven't accepted the invitation. But once they do accept and as they set up payments and things like that, you can come back here to see where they are and that way you can follow up if needed. Also, during your renter setup process, we're gonna send you an email about five business days before their rent is due. It's giving you an update on where they're at. So do they still need to schedule payments or accept the invite? Just so you know what's going on and you can reach out to them uh, if you need to. 
So kind of sticking to these tabs at the top, this rental details one is really important because this is where you can make edits to your rent collection setup, like extending the term if your renter renews, and then you also want to extend the rent collection term in Cozy. It's also great for increasing the rent, uh, adding new renters, changing the due date, all of those things. Over to the right here, you can also end the rent collection term, which, which will prevent your renter from paying you through Cozy. So uh, there's a, there was a question earlier about partial payments, and I and we've kind of talked about how that can get a little sticky. So if you didn't want to, let's say in the unfortunate event of an eviction, and I hope that never happens, it's so messy, you can simply come here and end the rent collection. That will prevent your renter from making any further payments to you. It will also stop any, um, excuse me, any scheduled payments from processing as well. So if it comes down to it, you can always come here and end that. You can restart it later too. So just so you know, if you end payments, it doesn't mean that you're gonna have to go through the whole setup process again. If you work things out with your renter, you can just extend the lease date and then they'll be able to, to resume paying through Cozy if they need to. All right, so this was this was the rent collection setup that we set up. Now let's, let's look at one that's active and has some payments and all that kind of stuff. So go to my payments page here. Um, yeah, let's do Angela. So uh, here's, here's some other entries. So here are the bills in orange, scheduled payments in blue. So you can see if they've scheduled a future payment or what the next one coming up is. Here's what payments look like in that green line. And you know you can see they're all different line items and they're kind of staggered. So it's easier to kind of take a glance and see what you're looking at here. So at the top, the, the due today balance is really kind of like your first touch on things. So if the balance is green and zeroed out, that means that the renter is up to date on their payments. If you see it showing up in orange, that means they have a balance due. If you have multiple renters, you'll be able to see that each paid for their portion they're responsible for. And since Cozy's system allows partial payments, uh, you know, to support easy roommate payments, it makes it easy for them to get set up and you'll be able to check in on things. You can also expand the payment line to see more details about a send date. So let's say we were curious about this January 1st payment from Angela. You know, you can see things like, when was it deposited? When was it sent? Uh, what, what was the transaction ID on my bank statement? What account did it go to? And just so you know, like none of this, your, your renter isn't gonna be able to see any of these details. Like on their end, they'll be able to see, you know, what card or bank account they paid with, when it was sent. So they only see things that they need to see. And just like on your side, you'll only see things that are meant for your eyes. So this is just a nice way if you just wanted to, like, what account did that go to again? You could always check it out. So can always close it up again too to save that space. Some other important things here at the top are these three buttons. So the first one, add a credit. This is great so you can credit your renter for things and Cozy will send them an email and then we'll guide them through applying the credit to their next month's rent. So keep in mind the credits don't send them money since only renters can pay landlords. But this is great like if you have a renter who maybe did some yard work or uh, maybe it's their birthday and you want to send them a credit, but whatever the reason is, they'll get a notification from us and we'll guide them through applying that to their next payment. This middle button, offline payment. So if your renter pays by check or money order, Venmo, even cash, a pillowcase full of pennies, I don't know, any kind of payment outside of Cozy, you can record that to balance the ledger. So don't worry if you have one renter who was just convinced that they're going to keep paying offline um, and your, your thing is going to throw off everything. No worries. Come here, enter an offline payment, and it'll keep things all balanced. Last but certainly not least is this add a bill button. So I referenced this earlier when we were kind of setting things up, but you can bill your tenants for one-time fees by adding a bill. And this is good for things like utilities or other miscellaneous bills. Maybe they you know, broke a window or something. But when you add a bill, we'll email your renters with instructions on how to send a payment. So it won't just be like, hey, a bill was added. And they're, they're thinking, what do I do? No worries, cozy to the rescue. We will send you an email and let them know exactly how to set that up. So how can tenants pay? How long does it take? So I talked about this a little bit earlier, but I just wanted to circle back since we're going through this, uh, the setup process now. So renters can pay with their checking account or with a card. Checking account payments are free for renters and card payments have a 2.75% transaction fee paid for by the renter. So again, that transaction fee isn't gonna deduct from the amount of rent you're receiving. Uh, it just gets added onto the amount of their total payment. Uh, and again, all this is free for you as landlords. Your tenants can set up auto pay 
or they can also set up manual payments if they're more comfortable with that. So kind of whatever their whatever their comfort level is with either, either of those options, we've got something for them. Just to reiterate on payment processing times, Cozy's core payment processing time is five business days if your renter is paying by checking account. And like I mentioned earlier, that's because we do two bank to bank transactions. So first, we wanna make sure that those funds from your renter are available. And then once they are, we immediately begin that deposit into your account. Uh, we do have the optional express payouts uh, feature, which is $2.99 per month. If you wanted to speed up the payment timeline of three business days, it is optional though. So um, if, if that's not a need, no worries at all. If your renter is paying by credit card, that takes three business days as well. So payment statuses, you know, you can track and check your payment status at any time in Cozy, but we'll also send you email notifications. So again, some of you who were here earlier in the during the webinar, I, I mentioned this as well, but I wanted to reiterate because I think with online rent collection or, or just with rent collection period, communication is so key across the board, whether it's between you and your renter or you and like this, the property management tool you're using. So that's important to us too. And we send you two emails each month during rent collection. So first when your renter's payment is sending and then when it starts depositing to your account. We also email renters. So we, we give them that reminder every month, five days before their rent is due. And that's regardless of whether they have a payment set up or not. So the email, my, the messaging and the, the verbiage might be a little different if they've set up a payment. It's like, hey, your payment is scheduled to process. Uh, or if they've not set up a payment, hey, you still need to set up a payment. But one way or the other, they're always gonna get a reminder from us five days before. So, um, you know, we just walked through how easy it is to start collecting rent in Cozy. Um, we talked about how you can save time by managing all of your rent payments online. We looked at the features, we looked at what the ledger looks like, how to take care of offline payments and things like that.